So you are ready to start working on problems on Alex. Once you finish that initial knowledge check, um, it's going to give you the results of your pie. And you want to remember initially at the beginning of the quarter, it is kind of weird the way it's laid out. So you want to tell it that you want to work ahead, drop down the menu of available problems, and then go up here to show all the homework assignments. You might have some stuff in the prerequisite review that you need to work on. I had a few things that I didn't even get asked in the initial knowledge check, so they showed up as stuff that I needed to do to finish up that prereq review. Uh, so that may also happen to you. Um, don't be surprised if it does. And then once you get all of that done, once your prereq review is at 100, then you're ready to go to homework one. And what you're ready to work on right now is this topic, finding the conjugate of an acid or base, which is really similar to the worksheet for 16.1. Um, so you can see here that it is giving you the formula of an acid, and it's asking you to write the formula of the conjugate base. And so remember when um, we have to remember our definition of the acid, the acid is an H plus donor. So that means that the conjugate base is going to have one less hydrogen. And it's also going to change the charge. The charge is going to decrease when it goes from acid to base. The charge is going to decrease by plus one. So we are starting with a neutral charge and we're decreasing it so that it's going to end up negative charge. And then over for the bases, turning into conjugate acids, remember the base is an H plus acceptor. So we want to put uh, extra hydrogen in the molecule. And remember I said that conventionally for acids, we write hydrogen first. So we want to write HI, not IH. That's just standard notation. And then also we got to think about the charge. The base is gaining H plus. So we've got the H in there. The charge is going to go from negative to neutral. So there's our conjugate acid.